This week on the show, we're featuring chrome tourmaline, seven jokes, Celestide under the microscope cam, vending machine on why I buy that, overexposure to the following may cause positivity. Why was the bird politically active? He wanted to join the cause. Let's start the show. You know, let's redo that as a headline. I think we can start the show with a headline. I think that's a little more presentable. In recent news, a bird was politically active. Apparently, he wanted to join the cause. Let's start the show. You may notice I have the table on the grinder. That's how old this video is. It's from the other drive. That's how old this video is. I don't know for sure if this is the same piece. I don't have a lot of tourmaline video. But one thing I do have... is a fervent love for this stone, $350 a carat. I want to be careful as I work with it. I don't want to ruin it, $350 a carat, because it has the potential to be a very beautiful stone, $350 a carat, if I cut it properly, $350 a carat. So I'm trying to be smart with it. and. I also, it's not available very often. Like, the, these pieces were fairly small and full of cracks and not very green. They're very, very dark. But, a little bit of green comes through. I've noticed I've got basically two options cutting this type of stone. I can either make a black stone with green edges or a green thin stone with black edges as is up in the corner the Kona give it a little bit of silver backing and the light comes through starting to learn how to work with it I think this is my fourth piece that I have finished I said, I'm, I'm going to send Chicha some green gems. We're going to send her all the green gems that I got, pretty much, I think. I don't know. I need to go over the list again. But I'm cutting gems that I haven't cut a lot of, like chrome diopside. And then we, bam, two years, no chrome diopside. Seller's got some chrome diopside for sale. The power of giving people. And so the same thing with this chrome tourmaline got a little bit more of that. I kind of want to show you that under the microscope. When I show you the Celestite, I'm going to show you some chrome tourmaline. It's not as good as this stuff. It's crackier and a little bit yellowier. But there's a piece of a croit, which is, I think it's Greek for colorless. It's clear tourmaline. Pretty neat. Kind of rare. It's kind of pinkish, so it's not, it's not perfectly a croit. But uh, we'll get a better look at that under the microscope.
Hello, and cheers, and welcome to the show. Tourmaline grows in spars. You can see the lines on it. It kind of grows in like rods, rod, rod shapes, with lines that go in the, you know, pattern. And, you know, it's kind of a, a like a, it's kind of a three-sided thinger. It's got basically three sides, but there's, it's kind of like there's six sides, but there's three sides. There's another smaller rodular tourmaline piece. But it's still got kind of the same three-sided, six-sidedness. And then there's other pieces that are just kind of chipped off the side. They got the rodliness to them, but, you know, it's like a chunk, kind of like what we're working with there. I think, yep, that's definitely not the same piece. But, uh, there's, I mean, I, I cut a lot of pieces in the same video because before I was, uh, planning out the show around one stone, I was just kind of showing gems being cut and then people could ask questions, feeling out what we're doing. Speaking of feeling out what we're doing, smack! That's my chrome tourmaline collection. We got some ones that are kind of like half shaped. This is like two spars together. And I don't want to get rid of that line in the middle. I kind of like it. Keep thinking about nipping this off and making a button. Then again, I, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. And I got like this big like, coffin shaped gem. Haven't finished it out yet. I need to bring more color through them, you know? There's not, not enough green coming through. I think, hey, is that the, wait, is that, no, oh, nope, nope. I thought that, I thought that was the coffin gem. Anyways, like this one, this one, a little bit of the green is kinda coming through-ish. I'm gonna show it under the microscope cam. And some of these other ones under the microscope cam, which is something we actually should be getting to. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. And we, get, we don't want to forget the acroite, because I did mention that. <clears throat> Speaking of acroit that we mentioned. All right, microscope cam. Bam. Oh. It's a guy on the screen doing things. Where is my microscope? Cam. Joke intro. Camera. Hmm, got to turn it on. That'll help. Boink. Balloon. <laughs> okay, there we go. Move that back to there. And then... We have, boom, okay, hold on a second, we have no chat bot, because I didn't turn on the chat bot, yep, there's the chat bot, okay, so anyways, this is very dark on the camera, but it's actually very light blue stuff. So we can kind of see the outside of the crystal. It's very soft stuff, though, too. That's part of the problem, is that it it damages easily, and it loses its luster easily. Like, it, it scuffs. So, the idea is, 
that you put it in some kind of a setting that will protect it, but then you have to have more metal, more weight, you're not just like, just the gem, as simple as possible. But there are other things that you can set around it, but it's also a common stone. So, you know, it's kind of, mm, am I gonna, am I not gonna? I really like this, this, th this collection of Celesti is very good. It's got great color. Some of it has great quality. I mean, we got like a, a whole box thinger of it. Yeah. See how they did have different color and clarity? There's a few de decent pieces in here. I mean, I think it's going to be fun once we get into it. And plus, it's supposed to be a soft stone. I mean, look at this one. It looks like a little stone-washed pebble of glass. <laughs> Hi, Benny. Welcome. Thanks for coming by. Um, then here we got, you know, little craggly pieces. Um, let's see. Oh, there, there we go. There's a nice clean piece. <clears throat> Look at that. That's got clarity. And then see that that light that comes off. Okay. Over here, there's light that comes off of it. When I turn it just right, that's the flare. That's the flash we're gonna get when we facet that. If we do a good job. It'll be a lovely little gemstone. This is going to be a really nice piece. I'm excited about that. Bling, 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 bling. Check out my Celestite. <laughs> ah, love the opal. Oh, Benny, yeah, that... Well, we'll bust that out a little bit here. And then we'll get into the tourmaline. Look at that. Nice big see through it. It's got white, yellow, kind of a bluishness to it. A little bit of red in there. It's opal, all right. Very light, very plasticky. And I can see why it was sold. Got this big old goofy problem in it. So I guess basically you got to cut it into two things one, two, or one big. I don't know. Could you just kind of do that? I wish Shogun were here. Shogun, nine hour cuts um, opal, and he would know. But y you know what I'm talking about? It could be like that, and it just have the character on the one side, or you could get rid of it completely and have like two really neat pieces of opal. I just don't get your notifications, or I would be here more. Ah, well, if I went live more often, that'd probably help. I, uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to go live or not. Um, in the recommended. Well, that's cool. I, I'm getting recommended. Uh, I, I go live because I enjoy it. And sometimes I'm just so tired trying to fit too much stuff in. I really, I, I should be working on my nephew's car, but he should be working on his car, but they're having some problems with it because, and I understand entirely, this, this car has been a nightmare to wrench on. It, it's got like a, a tensioner pulley that is a 14 millimeter, and it, it's not a 14 millimeter. It's a special six point spline bolt. But a 14 millimeter usually works. But it's, it's seized up and the kids rounded it off. Yeah. So, we can either, I can either pull the thing off or I can wait for the spline tool to get here from Amazon, which will be Tuesday. And I've got concrete work to do. That's what I was doing all day today, instead of resting because of the temperature. But man, it's kind of satisfying. Actually, I should show you a picture of that. I should be 
like showing things under the microscope cam too. Tourmaline, anyone? But yeah, I, I kind of wanted to show that because I, I like showing the concrete work that I do because it, it's stone work, it's stone related. And like one piece of concrete is a step and it's, uh, we were calling it whatever reap. And I was showing, showing how it had the, the shell and all that kind of stuff in it. It had granite, limestone, chunks of brick, terracotta. But uh, this is the tourmaline and kind of how it grows in these smaller spars and there's more problems in it. Or these larger spars. Oh, there we go. Yeah, some of the green is coming through. As the light bounces through, it's, it's a thinner, this is a thinner piece. But it's like, what do I do with this really deep area in the back? Am I just going to make it more thin? Not quite sure. $350 a carat. So I'm being careful in how I cut this gem instead of just going willy-nilly. And uh, chopping right into it, you know? But the thing is, it has to be cut right and flawless and beautiful to be $350 a carat. <clears throat> Actually, it doesn't. A lot of this stuff, black, and there you go. Chrome tourmaline, people love it. But I, I wonder if the price has been going down lately with more discoveries. Okay, let me show you the gem itself under the microscope cam. See if we can get some light to show through it. Didn't know what to do with this one. I didn't want to cut the big lump off the side. Okay, so I was talking about spars, right? That is how it grew. This is one side of the flat side. And over here is one side of the flat side. And the rest of it I just kind of cut. And it's got one crack in the middle left from, you know, it kind of, it kind of shows its, its character, its real, real gemliness. Yeah, the green's kind of, kind of there, kind of showing, okay, wait, 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 there we go. Yeah, that green. Because it does show in the daylight. I mean, I'm looking at some beautiful green right now. I just wish it would show on the microscope cam. wonder if I can do it with a flashlight. There. It's not showing the right color of green, but it's... Uh it's definitely showing that it's it's got a translucency to it. Let's see here. Let's see here, there now. There we go. Yeah. So that's what you get in the daylight. This is a pretty, pretty beautiful gem, $350 a carat, if it was flawless. But it's got some flaws in there, but that's okay. It's still got the beauty. Isn't that lovely? But the thing is, it's really only like that in the daylight. Like, uh, here, let me spin it around. Yeah. The green's not coming through too well, but it's not. I mean, it is a dark stone. You know? Stop dropping the gems, Jacob. I was playing around with the camera earlier. Hello, it's Bodybuilder Jake. Hello, it's Shrunken Body Jake with Snake Neck. I got some jokes for you that we can get to on the joke portion of the program. Wait, 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 okay. Are we done showing stuff? No, I gotta show the Akroyd. <clears throat> 
which I keep calling it that. I think it's pink tourmaline. I was excited because I was like, it's clear, but, you know, notice as opposed to the background, that's white. It's kind of pinkish. It's kind of a pink tourmaline, a very light pink tourmaline. I wonder if I could cut the color out of it and make it white. Hmm. Possibly. Wouldn't that be fun? But I mean, at the same time, it's so cloudy. I don't know if there's anything good in here. We're just going to polish up the sides and take a better look at it. It'll be the new installment of Tup That Ruby, except we'll call it Tup That Acroid. I, I think I have one other tourmaline video, and then I can show you the actual final finishing out the stone video. I'm not, I don't know if, I don't think this is the one. It could be. No, it looks too thick. I'm pretty sure this gem actually started out pretty thin, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, that's the acroit on the microscope portion of the show. Not a lot of jokes. I thought I had some more jo I probably I think I have some more jokes. They're just written down somewhere. It, is that the piece? Nah. nah. I don't think that's the piece. But I don't know, it kind of looks like a piece. Anyways, um, that's chrome tourmaline under the microscope cam. And our piece of pink, col almost colorless acroit. It's kind of neat. And I'm, I'm kind of happy with this gem. I think this, you know, I'd make a nice, like, bracelet gem or something. I don't know, Chicho will find something to do with it. She asked for green gems, so we're, we're just green gemming it up. How to garden made it. How's it going? How to garden. Good to see ya. I think I would go with two pieces. Okay, Benny. Well, well, we'll we'll, we'll get to that, Benny. It's it's. I'm learning how to work with the opal because I'm processing uh, Christina and Sons opal, this chocolate opal, and I'm actually at the point where I want to take this little off the end here and then maybe turn that up for Colette's ring don't tell Colette and then the rest of it I want to kind of shape up into this triangle piece I think it's going to be a really beautiful triangle it's kind of thick and dark right now but if you notice it's got like a beer bottle effect on the edge I think that'll come through a little bit more and we'll get more of the flashes, and hopefully we can get some of those blue flashes to come through. I don't know, we'll see. But that that beer bottle colored effect, I want to get that to come through a little more when we make it into a triangle, and then we'll make it into a feature. That's why I've been re recording all the, you know, making it happen. Um, just haven't had a lot of time in the last couple weeks. And I got this piece of chrome diopside that I want to cut too. This one, I, I've got, I finally got a plan for it. I actually chipped the top off of it. And the chips didn't come off as planned. I mean, they, they kind of did, but like they, they, they broke apart and they were thinner than I expected. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do with them, if anything. But I, I, I mean, I can put them in the small the chips box at the very least you know how I throw a little chip in the bottom of every bottle of plant food which actually I've been wanting to work on the bottling machine <clears throat> and I think I'm actually getting to that point but first we got to finish this chrome diopside but actually that's next this week I wanted to feature this chrome tourmaline because I was actually proud of being able to get it done and have it be a decent gem the picture doesn't really do it enough justice. It shows great in the sunlight. I should have taken another picture in the sunlight. I kind of feel sour about that. I almost waited to do the show another week just so I could get a picture of it in the sunlight. Because <coughs> that's, just, that's just ambient light right there. 
Um, let's see. Speaking of ambient light, you guys want to hear some jokes? Let's see. What kind of jokes do I got for this week's? Wait. Okay. We're about in the middle of that. This is the gem, isn't it? Oh, wow. This is that gem. I must have had to thin it out a lot to get rid of the cracks or that color. This has got to be that gem. I don't have any other pieces like that, do I? It looks a lot like it. Man. How time flies, right? Cheers. <coughs> Boom. On the microscope. Mic microphone. Some kind of mic. Jokes. I got jokes. I got the wrong button. The button that I hit. Okay. Hold on. Because <coughs> we're supposed to do this part. Joke portion of the program. So what do I got in the way of jokes this week? Uh, let's see what. Okay. Um, okay. I got. I, I wrote all these backwards. They're they're all Woody jokes, and I'm supposed to do them as headlines. I like the headlines better personally. I like I like them better on the re-listen too. For example. It was recently discovered that the most supernatural gems are the spirit jewel ones. The spirit jewel ones. Spirit. Yeah. The most supernatural gem is the spirit jewel one. It's gems. Uh, let's see. Uh, a patron was recently seen ordering a burger and asked for it to be from a two-legged cow because they wanted lean meat. Now, I think I, I, I rewrote that. I was like, um, McDonald's has decided to only serve burgers from two-legged cows because they, they want to advertise lean meat. Hmm. Nah, moving on. Uh, which reminds me, what does a what does a clock put on its burger? Weak sauce. Kind of like the last joke. What's the best way to figure? Oh, okay. Uh, it in how to news. It's shown that the best way to figure out your cement problems is with trowel and error. Scientists have shown that the best way to eat pie is to shove it in your pie hole. It's uh, been uncovered that when, uh, since all dogs go to heaven, all cats go to purgatory. And recently, a bird was politically active. Apparently, he wanted to join the cause. The cause for this week's joke portion of the program. I hope that brought you all a little bit of happiness this week. <clears throat> a little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness. Let's get back to that actual video of the tourmaline in reality. I was, like, surprised that we actually had that. Just grinding out the cracks in the back of it. Great stuff. Blam. I'm glad I was able to get some of this tourmaline finished. It, it really, every time I cut some of this tourmaline, I learn. I learn about the tourmaline. And I... I, ha I have cut a few pieces. Let's see. I've got this one, this one, and this one. 
but one of them isn't actually a finished piece. See, this isn't actually a finished piece. It's, it's, I, I cut this bottom area, and notice it, the, the green comes through. I like that. It's, you know, it's actually a pretty cool piece, $350 a carat. But it's got a lot of flaws, so it's not actually that valuable. But it's got this crack in it. I want to get rid of that, but at the same time, it's like, do I want to get rid of this spar on top? It's kind of neat, the way it's faceted down on the lower part, but not on the top part. I really like this gem as is. And then it's got, like, this big face crack. I could kind of try and work down or fill. But at the same time, I, I like just keeping it as is. It's... It's... Kind of like a, a an art piece that I can study. And then we got this other like coffin like version. I kind of like this one. <laughs> you are pretty darn awesome, Yasuf, Jacob, and you too. Absolutely awesome. Okay, there we go. Some of the green showing through this one. See, this one, I really like this gem. This gem is actually pretty clean. Um, let's see. And it show the green shows better in the daylight, as I was saying. But, I mean, look at that. That's a pretty big piece. It's got a couple of cracks in it. But... I should be showing these under the microscope. I think mostly it's like a big like ring gem, you know? If we put some silver underneath of it. But it's like maybe I could thin it down and bring out more of the greenliness. But at the same time it's kind of neat how it's black and then just at the right angle the green really comes through so maybe that's the real value honestly i think the real value in it is because everybody loves tourmaline i, I mean that's basically what's going on <laughs> character okay here is one like finished gem piece of this See how the, it comes through on the ends? I need to make the, the the table a little bit bigger. I think we would get more color through it. But that is the goal. A black gem with green edges or a green gem with black edges. And mostly if you're making a ring, you want a black gem with green edges. It's cool stuff. <laughs> I just wish I could, you know, do even better with it still learning every time I cut a piece I learn a little more it's kind of cool to see the green come through on it because it's such a dark gem it's hard to know <coughs> if I'm actually going to get it to turn out or not like Cheech's that one's cool but it's so thin but it's I mean it's not too thin it's a pretty hard piece the tourmaline is hard It's it, it shapes it's not like it has like hard zones like where there's alpha quartz and beta quartz and they shape differently. And then like one part I'll be like grinding on this and it'll grind and, and I'll, I'll, I'll have to push real hard on this and then it'll spark and then cut down a little softer. It's it's generally pretty even. But it's it's a hard stone. I mean it's very glassy. Polishes up slow. It's, it's fun to work with. I will say tourmaline is fun to work with, so I understand why people love it. It just sells for so much money all the time. I can see the green. I can see your great comments. You guys are so fantastic for coming by the show. I actually have more video, but this this is basically showing you most this is the bulk of that gem isn't it 
Wow, when did I get this video? December 30th, 2019. So this video is almost two years old. And the gem had started before that. So it's it's probably a two and a half to three year old gem. Maybe more. It's been that long since my sellers had any chrome tourmaline for sale. It's crazy. It's so cool. Seller, and I want to show more of this stuff under the microscope cam under the coming weeks. We got some green moonstone. Never saw that coming. You know, we got some regular moonstone. Right? Great stuff. Great. I, see, I, this is moonstone, and this is a green stone. Right? And then we got the opal. We got... Uh, some Laboradorite. Or like most people call it Labradorite. It's got that dinosaur scale effect. Spling, 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 spling. Roar, Jurassic Park. <laughs> got you gotta you gotta say that when you when you mess with Labrador, right? Um, you don't you don't got you don't gotta say it. Then I got a whole bunch of these, like champagne quartz points. And they're nice and clean. So we're gonna make some neat gems out of these champagne quartz points. These little bar gems and stuff. Okay. Well that looks like that's pretty much the show. We just gave it a little bit of polish. I got a little bit more footage. We do finish it out I, f I figure out how I'm going to kind of finish out the shape. But it sat like that for about two years before I figured it out. And then I got the most recent footage. Hmm. I don't know. I closed it. Why did I close? Okay. Got the most recent footage. September 19th. So almost two months ago. I finished this gem, and we're just now featuring it. Good job, Jake, bud. Well done. All right, I think that's actually, yeah, that's the end of that one. So it's pretty much, well, you can kind of see there. It's close to being done, but I just got to straighten it out. And I add the little accent facets to kind of make it look a little more symmetrical instead of asymmetrical. <coughs> and I kind of had to straighten that out. That backside, straightening that backside out, that's... Okay, let me point out what I'm talking about with the backside. If I can get the backside to show again. Flip it over, Jake Bud. Come on, come on. Flip it on over. Flip it, flip it. Okay. So notice on the top, it's on the bottom, toward the short side. And on this, on the bottom, it's toward the top, toward the long side. So it's completely backwards. I actually had to like, so what I do in order to fix this is I make a, a reference point. Because this is actually pretty hard to turn, it's pretty hard to turn an entire surface. So. I actually, what I do is I make I go like this, and then I eat down, and then I smooth it across, and I can kind of meet it up after that. So if you come up here and you draw a line between this point and this point, eat this point, because points points eat down pretty quick. So you, you you start with the two and you eat down to the third, and you, you get your way down to that line and make your way back and across, and you got to straighten down awesomeness you guys got anything coming up on your channels time for shout outs right because you're awesome how to garden you got anything really cool coming up he how to garden was talking about um what's the fruit called where it's like it's got like white inside of it I'm not talking about the dragon fruit it's another fruit man anyways 
check out his channel and uh, eat some eat some more gardening stuff so that your brain works. I need to eat some gem salsa before the show. I actually ate some yesterday and man was I firing on all cylinders with turbo boost. And Benny Loco and Colette made it because they're awesome like that. And I think that's pretty much all. That, no, 710 made it. 710's awesome like that. 710, what do you got coming up on the channel, Motron? Fall Dog made it. Hey, Fall Dog, it's good to see you. It's always a pleasure, Fall Dog. Man, awesome. Awesome, great people. That's why I, that's why I do the show is because I like to see all you fantastic people. It's been great to see you this week. Hopefully I get to see you next week and every week. You know, around that 9-ish, p.m.-ish, eastern-ish, time-ish. <laughs> Have a great, positive, and wonderful week. I can't wait till I get to see you again.